basic medical sciences welcome so in this video we are going to talk about ganglia blockers all right in the previous videos we introduced the cholinergic agonists and we said they are classified into two main groups m cholino blockers or andemoscarinic and n cholino blockers all right so uh, we talked about atropine, we talked about scopolamine, uh, platyphylline, and others, right? So you can uh, check the playlist, right? You can click the link on the top right corner and watch those videos in order, right? So cholinoblockers, we said cholinoblockers can be divided into two groups, ganglioblockers and myorelaxins, right? So let's talk about uh, ganglioblockers. Right, so uh, ganglio blockers can be classified into two groups, quaternary ammonium compounds and tertiary ammonium compounds, right? Oh. So um, quaternary include benzoexonium, pentamine, hygronium, and tertiary include uh, pyrrolene and pachycarpine, right? So let's talk about these one by one, starting with benzoexonium. This drug is also known as hexamethonium, right? So uh, hexamethonium is a synthetic compound containing quaternary nitrogen. It is administered intramuscularly via IV and orally. This drug is poorly absorbed in the GIT and it does not penetrate the central nervous system. It acts uh, during three to four hours. Mechanism of action. Uh, this drug blocks the n cholinoreceptors in sympathetic and parasympathetic ganglia, disturbing the autonomic regulation of internal organs, thus pharmacological de-innovation. It inhibits propagation of nervous impulse running to effect organs along uh, both sympathetic and parasympathetic fibers. The main result of sympathetic ganglia blockage is a decrease in blood pressure, and uh, the blockage of parasympathetic ganglia is manifested by sympatholytic and antisecretory effects. Under these conditions, sensitivity of effect organs to humoral stimuli stays normal or is increased. Benzoexonium causes vasodilation, uh, redistribution of blood in the body and lowering blood pressure. It causes bronchodilation, decrease in secretion and motility of bowels, and it is a spasmolytic action. It decreases the tone of the urinary bladder and the urinary pathways, increases the sensitivity of myometrium to oxytocin, resulting in the stimulation of uterus contractions during labor. It decreases sweat secretion. These are some of the indications of benzoexonium. Hypertensive emergence uh, in hypertension is rarely used. Uh, controlled hypotension during surgery, right? Uh, this function is very important. Edema of lungs, the pulmonary edema, cerebral edema, bronchial asthma attack, colic, and is rarely used um, in stomach ulcers. But the main function that you need to remember is controlled hypotension uh, during surgery, right? So it's uh, very important. You will see it in MCQs, right? They like this question a lot. So uh, the side effects of benzoexonium include hypotension, orthostatic collapse, thus postural hypotension, uh, dry mouth and atom of the gut, constipation, retention of urine, and increase of intraocular pressure in patients with closed angle glaucoma. This drug is contraindicated in patients with hypotension, severe atherosclerosis, closed angle glaucoma, atone of the gut, adenoma of the prostate, 
severe diseases of the heart, liver, and kidney. Right. So all these conditions are contraindications to benzohexonium. Next is hygronium. Right. Hygronium is a short-acting potent ganglia blocker. It is administered only by IV infusion. This drug is used for controlled hypotension in surgeries. Right. So this is the main function. You will see it in MCQs. Uh, it's also used in pulmonary edema, edema of the brain, severe hypertensive crisis, control of blood pressure in patients with Aortic aneurysm, right? That's hygronium. The next drug is pentamine, pentaminum, right? So this drug is less potent than hexamethonium. Uh, it acts during uh, one and a half hours and is administered via IV or via intramuscular. It's used for emergency help in acute hypertension and is used for elimination of pulmonary edema caused by systemic arterial hypertension. This function, you will see it in CROC. Uh, there are a lot of questions. Pulmonary edema caused by systemic arterial hypertension. We use pentamino, pentamine. It's also used in bronchial asthma attack, colic, uh, and controlled hypertension in surgeries. Perilene, perilenum, right? So this drug is a synthetic preparation with the structure of tertiary amine. It is taken orally because it's well absorbed in the guts. It has the ability to penetrate the central nervous system and it acts during six to eight hours. Perilene is indicated uh, like in ganglionitis, spasms of peripheral blood vessels, bronchial asthma, and is rarely used in gastric ulcers. The side effects of perilene are similar to those of hexamethonium. Pachycarpine. Right. Pachycarpine is an alkaloid from uh, Sophora pachycarpa. Right. It's a plant administered orally intramuscularly or subcutaneously it has the ability to penetrate the central nervous system it acts during 8 to 12 hours this drug stimulates uterine contractions it improves the functions of skeletal muscles used to treat ganglionitis spasms of blood vessels nervous diseases uh, myopathy and it may also be used in the stimulation of labor activity, but it has high toxicity. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section and check out our next video. Right? So pharmacology, uh, we are going to cover a lot of pharmacology videos. So make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so that you receive a notification whenever I upload a new video. Until next time.